Hey guys! You should be familiar with Chinese brand like BMAX, because we have made the video with unboxing and review of BMAX Y13 Ultrabook. This time, I want to talk with you about BMAX B1 Mini PC. It has Intel Celeron and 3060 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of built-in memory, and support for extendable 2 terabytes of 2.5-inch SSD or HDD storage. The price of the new mini PC is $140 on Gearbest. I will leave the link in description under the video. Before we start the review, please hit the like button. This is very important for us. Thank you. Enjoy watching. The new mini PC comes in a branded box. There is a big logo BMAX on the front side. Inside the box you will find mini PC itself. User manual. Power cable. HDMI cable. And metal bracket to mount PC to the monitor. Ok, now let's look at design of BMAX B1 mini PC. I will not go into details about the design of this mini PC, because it looks similar to other mini PCs and TV boxes on the market. There is company logo on the top and many connectors on the side faces, such as 3.5mm audio jack, Ethernet, HDMI, 2 USB 2.0, power adapter, power button, another 2 USB 3.0 ports, microSD card slot, and VGA port on the other side. At the bottom you will find a hard disk slot. As I already said, BMAX B1 supports 2.5-inch SSD and HDD storage. You know, BMAX B1 looks like a really good mini PC for office or home. It has many connectors and even expandable storage. Let me quickly tell you about specifications of this mini PC, and then we will move on to performance testing. BMAX B1 is equipped with Intel, Celeron, and 3060. This is a dual-core processor with 2.4 GHz maximum clock speed. Mini PC also has Intel HD Graphics 400. There is 4 gigs of LPDDR3 RAM and 46 gigs of eMMC memory. Mini PC supports dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, and 1 gig Ethernet. That's all about specifications. Let's connect a mini PC to the monitor and turn it on. Actually, BMAX B1 runs on Windows 10 operating system, so there is nothing to talk about. User interface and functions are the same as on any other Windows computer or laptop. Let's move straight on to the performance test. You have already read the title of this video that I do not recommend to buy this mini PC because the performance is very low. The manufacturer says that BMAX B1 supports smooth playback of 4K Ultra HD video. In fact, 4K videos on YouTube don't run at all. Mini PC even has problems with playback Full HD videos. It's a shame. I have also installed some software for performance test. BMAX B1 has eMMC built-in memory, so it is not very fast. However, you can install SSD memory additionally, then mini PC should work faster. Now let's check Wi-Fi speed. As you can see, download speed is 18 megabits per second, upload speed is 19 megabits per second. The next benchmark is called 3D Mark. BMAX B1 has 29-23 overall score. In HIC Bench 5 benchmark, as a new mini PC has only 170 points in single core test and 319 points in multi core test. The last benchmark for this mini PC is Pass Mark. You can see CPU Mark, 2D Mark, 3D Mark, Memory Mark, and Disk Mark. As you can see, the results of benchmarks test are very weak. What about games? Can you play games on this mini PC? 
I tried to start Asphalt 9 on BMAX B1 mini PC, but I waited for 30 minutes and nothing happened. From other side I was able to play the very simple games, such as Crozy Road. I cannot recommend to buy a BMAX B1 in 2020. This mini PC is equipped with a 5 years old processor, so the performance is very low. You cannot even watch Full HD videos on YouTube. Yes, BMAX B1 has many connectors, slot for SSD and HDD memory, 4 gigs of RAM, compact size, but what is the point of all this if the performance is very low? If you have a different opinion, please write in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.